Harnessing the power of invisible heat, induction innovations uses induction to heat ferrous metals, metals containing iron, using magnetic fields. For steel, the rosebud can be used on frames, structure repair, removing metal bond adhesives and more. Air-cooled for long-term use, the rosebud is also perfect for aluminum applications, such as graphic and adhesive removal, stress relieving and annealing. It can even be used to remove SMC bonded panels, roofs and other applications. This attachment's magnetic field bounces back and forth from pole to pole and is strongest in the middle. The closer the object being heated, the faster it will heat. Heat is also created through the resistance of current through its load. We don't create enough current in ferrous metals to damage electronics outside of the field stream. However, for some highly conductive metals like copper, it does create a current within the effective range of field. The rosebud has a heat shield that protects the attachment from red hot surfaces. So feel free to hold this attachment directly to metal without damaging the attachment. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to remove SMC bonded panels. The same process applies for removing roofs and other applications. Make sure you are wearing the proper PPE while operating the inductor. The preparation for use instructions should be read and performed before beginning work with the inductor. This manual can be found on our website at theinductor.com. Now that we have set up the inductor, let's prepare the rosebud attachment. Step 1. Make sure the heat shield is sitting in place. If the heat shield is badly damaged and unable to perform its function, call Induction Innovations Inc. for a replacement shield. When working with painted and or plastic surfaces, applying a cloth over the heat shield will help prevent any scratching of the surface. Step 2. Set the control knob to the max setting. Step 3. Since the rosebud has a 110 volt maximum source for power and air supply is required for cooling, you then need to connect the air regulator gauge to a clean and dry compressed air source and adjust the pressure to about 15 to 20 psi. Step 4. Apply outward pressure on the panel to be removed while placing the rosebud over the adhered area. Step 5. Step on the foot switch to turn the power on and move the rosebud attachment in a back and forth or circular motion with a 4 to 5 inch radius over the lowest dimple on one side of the panel. The glue spots are often several inches in diameter. Keep in mind, it is important to find out the manufacturer's recommended heat limitations for the repair area so as not to compromise the molecular structure of the panel, which would affect how it reacts in a collision. Step 6. Using the provided L wedge, pry gently outward until the adhesive releases the panel. Step 7. Continue to work around the remainder of the panel until the entire panel is released. After previously released areas have cooled, the L wedges can be relocated to the areas where the heat is being actively applied. For more step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the rosebud attachment in other repairs, refer to your Induction Innovations user manual or visit theinductor.com. Experience invisible heat with induction innovations.